welcome back to my channel. It is I, Zaya, <laughs> and we are here. Uh, I'm just going to be talking to you guys about some budgeting tips um, and kind of just, you know, ask. Oh, yeah, that's also what I wanted to do. I wanted to ask you guys to if you had any questions about me and who I am, where I came from, any kind of questions you would ever want to ask me. Now's your chance to go ahead and type them down below in the comment box so that I can uh, make a video, a future video for, and you know, gather all of your questions up and uh, comments and address them. And yeah, let's get started. So before I go even more further, this is our money bag tips segment. And like I said, we'll be talking about budgeting we usually like to talk about Robin Hood and all that kind of stuff, but we're going to actually jump off of the, you know, bandwagon of Robin Hood for a second. You know, all that investing in, in shares and companies and stuff like that is super duper awesome. But today for this video, we are not going to talk about Robin Hood right now uh, because that is for a much later video and a more in-depth video detail video but so in this video I'm just going to give you six good tips that I use to budget of course there are other things out there other ways to do it fun ways to do it it's all just about what works best for you what's you know what makes you feel comfortable and honestly these six things that I'm about to talk to you about have made me feel the most comfortable and you know being in my 20s and figuring out that i need to save instead of spend so what is budgeting to me budgeting is like just making sure that i know how much i'm spending and how much i need to you know save towards my bills and the you know responsibilities that i have to keep my head above water keep a shelter over my head, food on, on my table, um, and just making sure I'm not, like I said, overspending to where I'm uncomfortable and in a situation that I feel like I don't have money. So uh, <clears throat> what does that mean, though, during a pandemic? Because <laughs> things are definitely different. Budgeting for me is already was already hard, but budgeting during a pandemic where no literally no laws have been lifted as far as um, you know it be laws being lenient on um, rent, meaning you know rent getting pushed aside for X amount of months or anything like that, or you know car insurance being pushed aside for a few months during this pandemic. This you know since we don't have that luxury. Uh, in this country, I was able to take, oh yeah, also, especially with my job cutting me from 30 to out, 30 hours to like five a week, um, it definitely was something that I had to absolutely do. I had to sit down and say, Sadea, what are your bills? What you cannot, you know, what are you spending too much money on? And especially like this pandemic has, you know, opened my eyes, making people and families all over this country going, you know, from one amount, like going from a whole bunch of money during like salary wise, or even per hour, having this much money, being able to afford their house, you know, their housing situation, and their car situation, and then going from here, to all the way to rock bottom, not being able to afford nothing, right? So I, that scared me, open up my eyes, like, oh man, I really, you know, and I was almost put in that position of facing homelessness because of this damn pandemic. So I had to literally sit down and say, okay, no, 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 no. What do I need to change? What needs to be fixed? And that's why I said six simple ways for me that helped me during this pandemic and keeping my coins and not spending it as if, you know, I have a regular nine to five. <laughs> so number one 
Um, the first way that I love to save money in budgeting um, in, in my budgeting journey is coupons. I love these, okay? These have saved my life. Um, they come in many forms. They come in paper form in like your newspaper and you know all that kind of all that jazz or they also are on your phone like as an app i use ibotta which i literally go on the app you know i'm like let's say i need mayonnaise and i see they have mayonnaise on the app and they're given a dollar for this mayonnaise so you purchase it and then you go ahead and um you you know make sure you get your receipt bring it home take a screenshot of the product and and it also I mean, I'm sorry of the of the receipt and then you scan the product to make sure it matches it and then they give you your dollar so it's like uh it's just like saving money I've gotten free items using Ibotta because something in the store was a dollar and Ibotta was giving me a dollar for that item so I only had to pay like five to eight cents on tax for that item and that's all I spent for it and you know little things like that but i love these coupons because they come in a book um i did learn that the date for the coupons expiring is on the spine part um of the like outside page i don't have the outside page but and then also uh that these you know you can double coupons so if you go in a you go in a supermarket and they have their store discount going on, okay, then you can take this coupon that you got in the mail and put it together with that coupon. So it's a manufacturer coupon and a store coupon that you can combine. People don't know that you can do that. Um, and I just love the fact that they help you save money on like things that like pharmaceutical things, um, women need things like pads and tampons, beauty things like, you know, mascara and foundation. Um, I've gotten kids Tylenol out of here for my kids. Um, they have all types of food coupons. It's just so many, so many coupons you could choose from. And it's silly to not use them because I've saved hundreds. And actually, like I said, on the Ibotta app, I've made at least 300 and something over the two years that I had it. So super awesome app, super awesome way to budget and save money. Okay, so number two, what I do to budget. Uh, is not ordering out as much, right? <laughs> so we get so tempted to order out, and which blows my mind that during a pandemic, right, a virus is um, something that can be spread through a, through food and stuff like that, but we still order out for some weird reason. It's just something that we need to do in this country. So that's what I've actually been trying not to do is trying not to order out as much it's not healthy anyways and it's you just rack up money on the delivery fee which doesn't even include the driver's tip and all this tax of where you live and where it has to be delivered and all this other kind of stuff um that adds up and is super unnecessary and it's a delivery for a reason because you don't feel like going in your car and wasting money to go pick up said item so <laughs> this learning not to order out as much, you know, it's super hard because you get lazy, you don't want to cook, um, your mental health is not the best right now because of the pandemic making you depressed and anxiety filled, but trust me, it adds up and you'll be smacking yourself later after you enjoy that pizza, you'll be like, oh, sh like, damn, I spent $50 on this, like, oh my goodness, ridiculous. Um, but also as far as the couponing thing goes with this is because that kind of, these kind of go hand in hand too. If you are going to, like I said, order out, they have coupons for that too, okay? So this is a Pizza Hut um, flyer that they, you know, gave me in the newspaper. And it has a bunch of different types of coupons, online coupons that you can use to help you save money. One, here's $10 off of a large pizza up to three toppings. 
two medium specialty pieces for $9.99, 30% off your whole order. So if you are going to order out and it's too tempting to not to, use the coupons, guys. Ibotta takes online coupons as well if you go on the app um, and you do like you go through the app and you have to go um, onto like pizzahut.com through the app and purchase like a gift card or something like that use it on pizzahut.com and you get money for you get money for using the gift card and you also save money on the transaction. So you kind of double dip on Ibotta. It's so freaking awesome, guys. I love online ordering when I do on, t on Ibotta. It's so awesome. Um, but yeah, they have food coupons too, guys. So don't, don't be discouraged. Also, another way to combat um, the whole not ordering out thing is learning how to cook guys it's 2021 it is time to start you know getting fresh fruits and vegetables and cooking them and learning how to make meals like uh, you know how many meals you can make out of potatoes or flour or tomatoes um this little home ingredient that you may have that is super cheap why not just go ahead and learn how to cook and it's not, you don't have to be freaking, you know, Chef Ramsey, but, you know, just, you could be Chef Boyardee and make simple freaking meals, guys. You don't have to be all fancy fancy. Okay, so number three for good budgeting is dropping subscriptions that you do not need. What do I mean by that? Do you really need that Netflix, sis? Do you really need that Hulu? Do you really need the Disney Plus? Do you? I mean, seriously. I had to literally reconsider my freaking priorities, okay? I, let me tell you something, have been in, enjoying the nostalgia of using CDs, uh, like, you know, DVDs on movies that existed in the, like, early 2000s and the, like, freaking 90s, okay? I have been enjoying CDs again, and that's because I got rid of the Hulu. I got rid of the ESPN. I don't need my sports right now because it's a freaking pandemic. Nobody should be playing sports anyways. Um, and... I mean, seriously, like, I just, I I don't need the Hulu. I don't need the Disney Plus. I got Disney movies. I don't need that kind of stuff. Voodoo. Voodoo is for free, okay? They have many, many, many free videos and movies on there for your kids, for you. I just feel like it's silly to uh, spend money on these, these big corporate places that don't necessarily need the money because they just don't. Um, and yeah, we are struggling to pay rent, um, you know, feed our families all while this pandemic is going on. Save your money, you guys. It's literally a choice between the lights and Disney Plus. That to me is silly. Get rid of it. I even had, um, I even had ABC Mouse for my younger ones, but I just decided that I can be their own teacher and teach them the very same thing, same things on that app, okay? So definitely wanna, you know, get rid of those subscriptions that you just don't need. And there are apps out there for that because it is hard to remember which subscriptions you have, but there's an app that takes care of that and reminds you, so why not, right? <laughs> So number four for budgeting, good budgeting tip, is get your bills in front of your face. No more of the paper bills that come in the mail. Uh, I feel like they're a waste of paper. It's good to know that, you know, they still, you still get mail from people. But honestly, choosing um, e-bills is awesome because you get that little notification and you always have your phone in your hand. You, al you always have this in your hand. So why not just sign up for e-bills where they you get your notification, you get that email, you get that text message. So you get multiple things reminding you, hey, you owe this bill, you know, this is coming up, this is coming up. 
um, to make sure that you stay on top of things and your responsibilities. One way I do this and keep a track of all of my bills is I use an app called Timely Bills. It gives me all of, it literally lists, um, you know, in rows, everything that's coming up, all my bills, how it lists the dates that they're coming up, the amounts, because you want to see that as well, so that it's like in your face, okay? Um, to make sure that, you know, you know exactly what is coming up because it would suck to, for you to, you know, like I said, overspend and then be like, oh, snap, I'm just $50 short from paying rent or paying an important bill. So you definitely want to make sure you have all of your bills in your face because if they're out of sight, out of mind, you know, and then you fall behind. Once you fall behind in your bills, Believe it or not, some places are still, um, you know, using that against your credit and stuff like that during the pandemic. So just, okay, dot your I's and cross your T's and have your bills in front of you so you know how much you owe and when, when that bill is coming up, okay? Okay, so number five is you want to make sure that you are also making sure that you are keeping a track of your spending, okay? You want to know how much you're spending on a daily, daily basis, not a every other day, not a weekly, not a monthly. You want to know how much you spend daily, okay? Did you go to the nail salon today? Did you get your hair done today? Did you buy that frappe that mocha frappe at starbucks today for five whatever okay for five dollars and whatever cent that stuff adds up and if you don't know and you're not you're just like treating it as a whatever like a just to throw it out the window type of ordeal it's gonna blow up in your face later on down the line like where did all this money go where did all this money go it went towards you not paying attention to it okay so you cannot budget correctly unless you're you're um making sure oh my gosh my chapstick is all <laughs> um unless you're making sure of how much money you're spending because if you don't know like I said out of sight out of mind and that's the danger zone when you don't that's what I like to call the red zone of budgeting when you don't know how much you're spending you know you don't even care you're just spending money right and that's a sucky way to do that, especially during the pandemic. Like I said, we want to save all of our money and all of our coins, especially me right now. I'm about to move. I want to make sure I get a nice house um, where my kids can be comfortable. And I can't do that if I'm just carelessly spending. So want to be careful of how much, how much you're spending, when you're spending, and um, the, yeah, the frequency of, of the frequency. How many times a day you're spending and the amount, okay? My last, last sixth tip, okay, is um, a lot of people feel discouraged that there's absolutely, absolutely nothing to do. Everything's locked down. Um, there's nowhere to go, but that is not true. Um, yes, I had at first got sad that, you know, I had to kind of cut down on the date nights and, cut down on taking the kids to X, Y, and Z place, you know, Chuck E. Cheese and all these other amusement places. But honestly, I found a blessing in that because I was able to turn my home into date night, okay? I was able to turn my home into um, like a mini arts and craft fun ordeal field day for my kids. Um, I do it a lot, you know? A haunted house. I for Halloween I created the whole house, my whole apartment into a haunted house, and the kids had just the same amount of fun. You know, we went trick or treating a little bit, but we also went trick or treating in the house. Like there are ways to turn your home into the greatest place on the freaking planet without spending buku money. Um. You know, I just go to the Dollar Tree if I'm doing something extravagant for the kids, birthday parties, whatever. I go to the Dollar Tree and get, you know, those flashing lights or, you know, those little like brake lights that you break it and shake it and it, you know, it 
glows. I get bracelets and all that kind of stuff for my kids for a dollar, a few dollars. And, you know, they are very grateful. I love them for that. Um, but it's just like, a, oh, yeah, you know, this is just as good as anything. And I, I like, I just, I don't know. I was able to make dinner here for me and my fiance to enjoy. And, you know, we stream here. We, we have fun here. We have parties here. We have learned to make home. Like I said, we have learned to bring the world into our home and enjoy that. Enjoy people stay mentally fit for that because it does kind of suck, but it doesn't have to suck to the point where it discourages you 100%. You have to find, like, you have to make the lemons, find the lemons in that you have around you and make lemonade out of it. So that's what we learned to do, and I'm so happy about it. <laughs> so, yeah. But like I said, uh, that was my six budgeting tips that I use today, right now, at this current moment. I'm sure I'm always changing and evolving, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that I'll, you know, find some more budgeting tips. I actually just found a YouTube page where um, the girl was talking about printing activity worksheets out to help you with budgeting. And I think I definitely want to start doing that and making it more fun for myself because who said that just because I'm an adult doesn't mean that, you know, that we're adults doesn't mean that things can't be fun. So definitely going to be doing that. So I will uh, stay, uh, stay tuned for that. Also, if you have any questions and any comments, concerns about, you know, me, who I am, what Variety Views is, please comment them down below so I can go back, collect them all and make a future video. Um, and break those down and you know address those and yeah it's it's been great i hope you all have learned something from the video and that you can take it and share it with your friends and family don't forget to like subscribe uh comment and like i said share it um with everybody that you know and hit that bell too. hit that bell if you want to see more videos like this where I talk about budgeting. Like I said, I have a money bag tips segment. So stay tuned for a bunch of kind of things to help you thrive and strive in your money bag. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Mwah. Be safe. Have a good one.